Welcome to Bubble Bath Buffet, where we showcase local food and bath products in the tub. Today's episode of Bubble Bath Buffet is sponsored by local nano brewery Revival Brewcade, which offers the highest quality and most unique selection of beers on tap brewed right below their arcade floor. It's also sponsored by Regrub, which is home of burger champions, shake artists, and art creators, offering unique, innovative, and creative street food and treats. It's also sponsored by Wildcraft Naturals, which is a line of small batch plant potions to soothe the body and spirit. These beauty creations are all natural from ingredients harvested straight from the maker's urban garden and are sure to help guide you straight to relaxation mode. If that was not enough, I also have, I have two guests today in the tub with me. I have Bitch Sassity and Carla Marks. Hello. 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 Everybody. <laughs> I mean, this is maybe the most exciting thing of 2021 for me. This is fast. I'm maybe, very excited. Yeah. Maybe the most exciting in 2020 as well. So this is where I'm just going to spend the rest of my days. That's it. Yeah, tub life. Be a little prune. No more yeah. hug life. It's tub life. It's, tug, it's tub life. <laughs> the tub chose me. Yeah. This is the first uh, of us being in a bathtub together. That's for sure. What? We don't fit. Our tub is pretty small. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, what's the, it compared to this tub, though? Like, this seems pretty it's, appropriate. It's, yeah, it's definitely, like, two-thirds of the size that we're normally dealing with. I'm, a, I'm not a bath person. I no. I feel like you're stewing in your own filth. I am a shower girl. Sorry. You could shower first and then bath. I still feel like I'm stewing. Okay. Yeah, I'm, like, cooking myself. <laughs> we are going to dig into some food before because the, the milkshakes are going down. They're yeah. Mel- yeah, they're sinking. <laughs> so we need to start uh, trying some food. Okay. This milkshake over here has a literal piece of velvet cake in it. And there's a kiss chocolate. Yeah. There was, there were, no, there were more kiss chocolate. <laughs> and she ate them. The truth comes <laughs> out. Like, for posterity's sake, they, don't, they give you more than one kiss. Oh. <laughs> what is that? I think this is a piece of, like... Is that a donut? Is it a donut or is it Bless cookie you. dough? I'm not really. I think it's a donut. A donut in the cookie monster. Of the cookie monster milk. That looks like a donut. Look, don't drop like... it in your tub. Oh, that's a donut. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so sad. I would be real upset for you. Look at that oh, tight little yeah. hole. <laughs> mm, it's a donut. You it's a donut. It's a donut before. Hey, everybody, it's a donut. You want yeah. some of this? I do. Is mm. it still on my face? Donut? We good? You're good. The burgers, we have a literal piece of deep mm. fried cheese yeah. over yeah. here. Like, not just a piece, not just one slice. There's it's a like, slab. It's a slab of cheese. Mm-hmm. It looks like there's something on top of it, but I cannot tell. Oh, this is like a wooden thing. Oh, no, there's oh, like a dark that. thing. Yeah, you're familiar with these. You get this a lot. Oh, it's uh, caramelized onion. Oh, my God. All right. We got a fried egg over here. Wow, look at the egg. And look, then some greens to uh, pander to the You audience. just don't see egg work like that. No, you do not. <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> that's art. Mm. When was the last art. time you had eggs for breakfast? Or any time? When was you the last what? time you cooked an egg? How often. I make bacon and eggs a lot. I okay. love breakfast. Well, we'll be open. <laughs> not like this, though. I don't like the yolk. I'm not a yolk person. Oh. I squish it out. What do you mean huh. you squish it out? I, like, I cook it, and then I flip it, and then I squish the yolk out, and then I throw it out. Oh, so, so you just eat the white out. part? Yeah, just the white part. Oh. The yolk grosses me out. But you don't do the thing like where you crack the egg and then you go back and forth. No, and just I could yolk. probably easier. Yeah, to do that. your way is easier. <laughs> just Flip it. it. Fuck it off. 
Okay, let's see what happens. Just trying to navigate so my pity doesn't pop out. That button's very soft. It's very delicious. Yeah, I'm going to turn it this. Oh, thank you. Wow. (laughs) Such a gift. (laughs) Is part of the game, like, getting it in the tub? Is it, like... Mm. We're literally making a soup. <laughs> yeah. You are going to be yeah. bathing in so yeah. much yeah. <laughs> We're making like, you know, like when you make chicken broth. I'm a filthy eater. You just boil the chicken broth. for like carcass for a while. This is what we're doing. Do you feel like boiled chicken right now? A chicken. little bit. <laughs> I, I can empathize. Can you? <laughs> the other stuff you're Yeah, I tried to. I Don't even try. No. I just took a little bite, but it was good. Mm. It was tasty. Mm. You're a good one. We definitely talked about not taking big bites. So I'm just, this situation wouldn't happen. It's but everywhere. Do you have egg on that kid? Uh, a little bit, but like <laughs> they probably can't see. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the lettuce out of this area, though. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I hope when people watch this, they watch it from their bathtub with their new dub tub board. Yes. yes. And they're having a snack. I've had snacks in the bath before, and I always feel a little bit gross because I'm literal <laughs> like arms reach to the toilet. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Because you're also in the tub. Yeah. Right. Right. (laughs) I've never actually thought about the toilet while I'm in there. Now I will. You sure will. (laughs) God damn it. There's no time to find out how clean your toilet is unless you're vomiting into the toilet. That's true. That's when you're like, oh, I don't clean back there. (laughs) Ever. It's really, yeah. That's the time you really get to inspect the toilet. Second next best time (laughs) is when you're in the tub. Mm, Yes. Yeah. You just got to drape a towel over it nicely. Like a black velvet curtain, like in yes. memorandum. This toilet does not exist right now. That's what the French did. It's that's a centerpiece. So nice. In 1871, the French lost a war. Because that's what they do. Mm. Um, and like, you hear that, JF? And the Germans oh. like took oh, we're a chunk of their country. And they're like, it's ours now. <laughs> and the French were like, okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to sassily protest. And so like at the center of Paris, the Arc de Triomphe, oh. the spiritual home of France, there used to be all these little statues like all the roads go to the different corners of France so they say and so there'd be like a statue for Lyon and Bordeaux and there was a statue for this place that the Germans took and so they took a black velvet cape and draped it over the statue and then pounded it into the ground with iron spikes to denote the Germans and it stayed there for 44 years oh my god 44 years well until they won it back in the first world war damn yeah oh yeah she's a she's a history professor this uh, yeah which I'm just learning about recently oh and uh, because what is the YouTube show you have talking just, it's just you. It's talking History about, with the Drag Queen. That, that simple. Check it out on YouTube. Episode one is like about communism. And if anybody is just like, <laughs> communism please is the worst. Watch this. Please watch it. It will clear a lot of things up. Yeah. Like if you're worried, if you've got like a family function coming up and you've got that drunkle who's going to like <laughs> yell drunkle, about the NDP and socialism, watch episode one of History with the Drag Queen. So you've got like talking points. I think more educational pieces are needed, but in a fun way, too, you know? Like, in, yeah. in a fun, more entertaining way, so it's not just bland, so more people tune in. I mean, uh, so the people who need it are not watching these things or reading books. No. Or... But I, I read something somewhere, and it's inspired me every time. It's like, you're not fighting to change someone's mind, right? Like, if they're trolling you on the internet, they've made up their mind, mm. right? You're you're there to stand in solidarity for the viewership and the audience. So like, when we talk about trans rights, I'm not doing it to change someone's mind, right? They're they're way too far down the rabbit hole yeah. for like an internet conversation. I'm there for like closeted trans people. I'm there for queer folks. I'm there for like somebody who's not sure. And it's like it's okay. Well, and there's also probably like somebody reading that your comment and seeing you you combat the person's comment, right? Like, right. say a trans person says something, and you push back. Or a racist person says something, right. and you're like, no, this is not okay. Mm-hmm. There are those people who, for whatever reason, aren't fully made up or mobilized or inspired to act. And sometimes yeah. those little moments of seeing people stand up and being like, actually, this person stood up I against racism, against transphobia, against yeah. homophobia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And nothing really bad. This idiot yelled at them on the internet, and that was it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. can do that. I, I can do that. Like, not being the idiot on the internet, but the, <laughs> the other one. Yeah. I think it's it's good because even in comment sections, sometimes. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, wow. Our pride! I would get up, but I'm not wearing a shirt. Yeah, in the comment sections, or even just posts, it's 
I've learned so much from y'all too. Just Aww. reading comment sections and posts. And likewise, like mm. I love the advocacy that you do and the way you do it too. That it's like some people would disagree. <laughs> I know, but it's, it's, <laughs> that's even better. It's, yeah. it's the it's the quiet assuredness of it. Yes. That you like you know in your heart that this is right. So you know that people will be won over, and that there's this like it's like the inevitability of a boulder rolling down a hill and changing yeah. everything in its path. It's coming, and it's like people who wail and you know try to you know, our mayoral candidates who, who yell in the street, they're, <laughs> they see, they see the change coming and yeah. they know that they are on the wrong side of history. They know that what you you're think doing, they know? I think they do. Yeah. I think that's why they, they're freaking out is because there's a sense of fear yeah. that things are changing. They don't understand how they're changing. They don't know how to approach this. And so what they think is that this means danger for them. Mm. They're like, oh, more for you means less for me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my titty keeps coming out. Hello. I think you cannot even see it in there. God, they oh, do. wow. Bubble delivery. Yeah. Bubble. <laughs> That's a hostess. Right yeah, there. Some Making, oh I'm God. good. I'm just not mm. moving <laughs> <laughs> to try and contain, contain these triple Ds. I'm just like... Like that's Double for the egg. that's for the bubble bath buffet only fans edition. Mm. So you gotta buy premium for that. What have y'all been up to though? Because you're still busy doing things. Like I feel like you never stop. It's surprisingly just busy. Yeah, we're always up to something. It seems we have a new show coming out soon. We've been trying to keep it more active in the burlesque world, and then we run some drag shows too. So it's been it's been really interesting over like especially 2020 there was a big shift in cabaret calgary the company we run with like three other babes so there's five queer babes who run it oh, there's yeah. us and then ivy lafleur Ran- yes. miss randy lee and of course you yeah. Yeah. yeah and in the last oh, year all of them the shift has been like it was really focused on creating spaces for professional artists and this last year we've really shifted to focus on the community so i think a lot of our online stuff is really reflecting that as well yeah it's like it's yeah. a bummer not being able to create your art when people are really hitting a wall and you just like get one show it can change your month around we, yeah. we ran a big not festival festival in the fall called <laughs> summit of sin festival's a very political world in the mm. word in the burlesque world so we had a, just a, a celebration of burlesque and it was just every you know if you want to do burlesque if you haven't gone on the stage since the panini started come and do it <laughs> and and it was so wonderful we had like 40 performers and hosts and people involved oh. and it just was so lovely and that vibe is kind of what we've put forward in like the most recent months where we're like let's do things to get people still feel like you're a burlesque dancer feel yeah. still feel like you're a performer for the drag content it's kind of like <laughs> Everyone's very sick in the drag world of dancing in their living room. <laughs> and there's only so many times yeah. you can do it and come up with a creative way. Yeah. So, um, Cabaret Calgary and also House of Trash, which I'm a part of, we've been trying to come up with, like, what else can we do? Mm. So we did puppets in play, where we made fun of each other with puppetry, <laughs> which was very spicy and wonderful. <laughs> um, yeah, we've done Snatch Games. And we've I done infomercials yeah. where your drag queen selling you products that you don't want. Some of it is gold, and some of it you're like, oh, all right, you gotta get out. <laughs> you gotta get out. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun though. It's, it's finding new ways, and and I definitely think that like over the last couple of months has been about how do can we engage as many members of our community as possible. Yes, it's like you can have the world is at your fingertips. Well, people were in lockdown yeah. you can connect with anybody and that was really really cool to see like the shows that came out of that but also like there's so we wouldn't be here we wouldn't be here as performers if it wasn't for like local community members yeah. audience shit like that right yeah so. that's a difficult thing because there's so many ways to express yourself as an artist mm-hmm. and let's say you know your medium is painting or something it's mm-hmm. much easier to be at home yeah. and do that with yourself as you know kind of a soul project in a way oh this was and easy then, too if you're a performer, like a visual arts performer, like performing artist like us, I just give all my monologues that I used to give on stage to her. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then every once in a while, she'll just get up and start doing a weird little dance. And I know in that moment that my job is to be like the audience. Be like, Hold on. Woo! Uh-huh. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. A weird little dance? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. Why don't okay. you back that up? <laughs> I am a professional. sexy little dance. Thank you. 
I am a, a professional fantasy. Here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm coming over. Y'all gotta go for share, it. okay? And even shows gonna... about sharing. <laughs> That's what the show's about? We're going to share. It's sharing? It's about sharing and caring, everybody. So how can people support you? You guys have anything? So I keep, see, I need to check myself too. We ain't saying guys anymore. Y'all. 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 Um, family, friends, everybody. Yes. Comrades. Some, comrades. Yes, I want to start using that one. It's like computing your brain every time. And the comrades, I feel, is like always last on that list. I was like, damn it, five minutes later, I should have said that. Comrades. Um, there's an amazing uh, Romanian TV show from the like 70s called um, Comrade Detective. You've seen it. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's amazing. It it's like amazing. it's just it is, is so it like cheesy. It, <laughs> it's, Romanian. It's more like Romanian communist um, Columbo. <laughs> it's it's. Wonderful. <laughs> and like all the criminals are like capitalists selling jeans out of the back of people's cars. Oh, no, and they're they like, not. don't you want to work for this glory of socialist labor? <laughs> and they're like, don't you understand what you're doing? And they're like, no! It's wild. So Taylor was like, hey, how do we support you? And you're like, yeah, but there's this Romanian Columbo. Yeah. You watch Comrade Detective. <laughs> That's how you support. That That's right? how you support. That's how you do it. I think it's just like people coming to online shows, even if you don't have, like, even if you're not in a financial position to give, totally understandable. Just being there, like, cheering us on. My God, my ego needs stroking. <laughs> Stroker! <laughs> I would God say, damn it. Follow Cabaret Calgary mm. on Facebook and Instagram. Follow House of Trash. Follow us. We're always organizing shows. Um, the Queer Foundation. Oh, and queer, uh, the Queer Education Foundation. Queer Education Foundation. Yeah, James Demir is myself and Candace. We run the Queer Education Foundation where we, <laughs> well, there's the way I usually tell it to other friends, but I'll give the polite version where we t get, inform and educate people about queer issues. Mm, okay, that yeah. sounds very professional. Yeah, don't doesn't hate. Doesn't that sound good? Gay. No, it does. Doesn't yeah. Sound good, yeah. Right? <laughs> that than what I usually say. Um, yeah. And, and just come to a show. Like, you know, it, you'd be surprised how great they are. And I know that we get into like watching show. Well, you, but you don't know what you're getting into. Mm, and then you watch true. it and you're like, wow, that was really fun. Yeah, There's like some people in so watching great. online events now. It's like even the, that Zoom fatigue, having to perform online yeah. or talk online, yeah. meetings. Yeah. Everyone's just like, oh, I'm done. But this, these are entertaining. Yeah, people do cool, cool stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, all the editing and stuff is so much more work. But it's like, you just gotta keep doing it. It's it's a wild time, and you know, even even sharing your performer friends, even just sharing a picture on Instagram or an event, even if you can't make it and you yeah. just spread the word, oh, that yeah. is also a great way to support yeah. artists yeah, at yeah, this yeah. time. And just yeah. word of mouth, you never know what where that can lead. It's so, so great. Yeah, yeah. And if you are in the financial position to donate, do it and do it with a heavy hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is there a, a generic or general place for people just to send a donation? Like, what if they ain't attend an event, but they just want to give some money? Uh, yeah, they can send it uh, e transfer to our email, which can be found on our website. Um, At the cabaret website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, we would probably just scurry that through. Like, if we had an event that didn't have a lot of uh, financial coming in, mm -hmm. that we would probably just share it there. But I yeah. honestly, no one just sent money. Okay, well, folks, just send money. Yeah. Okay, because they're always working. Always. <laughs> it never stops. <laughs> it never <laughs> stops. Yeah. Well, we are fighting against bubbles. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> I know, I lost some before. We're going to. Is there anything you want to share? Any uh, events or anything coming up before we go? Um, just keep checking out our social media, our Facebook or Instagram. Posting things up on there. Yeah, um, follow Cabaret Calgary, follow Host yeah. of Trash, follow Bitch Sassity, follow Connor Mark. That's great. On our Cabaret Calgary Instagram, it lists all of our individual shows. You can go follow. Oh, yeah. There's a bug. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, it's on me. We're like really hoping we'll be. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, a bug. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Get it together. Get it together. Uh, <laughs> we're hoping to have a Go Go Battles epic summer slam. For August, so yeah. all things, all things coming together. That might, yeah, we're hoping. And in the meantime, 
Order from Regrub. Order mm-hmm. from Revival Brigade. These are delicious. Both. Right? Yeah, it's so good. Sorry, what flavors do y'all have before we go? I got smoke on the water. It's a smoked porter. Oh my god, on the water. I got homebound blonde. All right, and I got slay my name maple coffee stout. Ooh, how's that? It's good. And they're all <laughs> uh, they're all limited editions, so because they make some uh, they make special batches, so you gotta get them when they're out, and then sometimes that's it. I wanna try these. Cheers, friends. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. Mm. <laughs> Woohoo! Bumblebats and Sandy Taylor show his friends and talented behaviors. Local garment dining in the town of strikers and unknown.